Luna Moth Creations and I am back with crystals. This video is very, very long overdue. These are crystals that I got from one of my wholesalers when I was on my vacation in May. The stuff's been in my store, but I really wanted to do a video where you guys could really see how they look. You can see the pictures and the pictures look great, but a video is always so much nicer. So hello and welcome if you guys are new to my channel. My name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including stuff about crystals. And if you're not aware, I have a store. <laughs> it is going to be linked below Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. So I am going to turn this camera around so I can show off my beautiful crystals. I'll be right back. Okay guys, hello. First off, I wanna say I'm sorry about my nails. They look like crap. Um, the chick that did them the day of the wedding, oh my gosh, it was awful. So anyways, okay, let's get started, yay! Okay. <laughs> so I have them in these little things. So first off, we've got Ocean Jasper. Hopefully it will, um, let's see, there we go. I may have to stand up and also tell it to focus. There we go. Look at this. So the wholesale company that I get these from, um, they actually have an Ocean Jasper, um, they, they actually have the copyright on the name Ocean Jasper. They have a mine in Madagascar and I think that's so awesome. So I'm getting this direct, yo. But how cool is this? So I do have some, so you will, if you guys purchase these, you will be getting like a card from me. So as I'm showing, I will read you some things. So this is associated with the heart chakra, the throat chakra, as well as the solar plexus. Um, element of earth, zodiac of Capricorn. It carries the powerful healing energy of the ocean, releases suppressed emotions, bringing them to the surface to allow for transformation and healing. Heals the heart chakra and reminds one to be accepting of the cycles of life. Very nice. But look at the orbicular uh, patterns. They're so pretty. And there's like so many different colors in Ocean Jasper. I freaking love it so much. So that are the tumbles that I have for Ocean Jasper. And then this one I do not have a card for just yet. I need to make a card, but I did print some things off the internet about um, this. So this is called Ibis Jasper, and it's from Madagascar. It's the version of Jasper named after a waterfowl, which is a crane-like bird from Egypt. And that is associated, um, so well, it resembles the feathers of, uh, of the Ibis bird. And the ibis bird is associated with the Egyptian deity Thoth. He is the god of wisdom, scribes, magic, and record keeping. So symbolically, it allows one to access ancient knowledge, Akashic records, and allows us to communicate messages from spirit. But look at the fun pattern on these guys. You know, I think I'm gonna pause this and see if I can get my um, my other light on here. I will be right back. Okay, just kidding, guys. I could not get my my light to attach. It was too heavy. But here's some more of the ibis. It's so pretty. Very like desert colors. Very fun. All right. I mostly got like tumbleds and um, pebbles and palm stone type things because I feel like that's what you guys are interested in. So now we have some hematoid quartz. So this is quartz with um, hematite inclusions. So because of the iron in hematite, you get this red color. And let's see, hematoid quartz connects the crown and the root chakras. It transmutes energy into tranquility, clarity, and positive universal light. It helps you to find simple but effective ways to solve your problems, manifest new beginnings, encourages optimism, and energizes the physical body. But look at the red in there. It's so pretty. Let's see what else I can find in here? Love. All right, next, and this is one of my new favorites, 
This is black opal. So this is in a um, pebble palm stone type. And sometimes it's called, so it's a black opal. Sometimes it's called um, coffee opal or um, chocolate opal. But it has these really great swirls of um, different browns and then what I like to call like a cream. <laughs> so black opal strengthens and protects the emotional body. It assists with communication with nature beings. Whoops, I'm out of frame, sorry guys. Um, maintains protection during astral travel, prevents psychic attack, helps one feel stronger and more in control when faced with negativity and confrontation or bullying by others. You guys know I need this one. <laughs> I got this one um, in a tower for myself. And if it, this becomes popular, I will probably get some towers um, to sell in my shop. And, um, if you guys are following along, I am going to be doing my, doing my first ever live sale. Super excited. And I'm deciding on whether I want to do it on July 9th or 10th, so Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to do it on the weekend so that maybe my boyfriend can help me out a bit. <laughs> so that way it's not too crazy. Although there'll probably be like one person there, but that's okay. We'll still do it. <laughs> so now I have these um, Indigo Capro or Mystic Merlinite is what these are called. Um, and these are feathered. The pattern is like feathered, um, but they're kind of a palm pebble. And so Indigo Gabbro, it's a stone that unifies one's shadow side and conscious side, enhances one's ability to connect to the spirit world for clairvoyance, tarot, channeling and connecting souls of the deceased. So if you guys just watched my tarot video, um, this one would help you in your intuition with reading the tarot. Um, it's a powerful ally in all types of magic and accelerates one learning of each type. So again, this would be a great stone if you guys are wanting to learn tarot or some other form of divination. But hopefully this is translating well. It's such a pretty, pretty stone. It's kind of a grayish purple mixed in with that black. Okay, another one of my favorites. This is Polychrome Jasper. And it is amazing. The colors are so much fun. So it's a rare and relatively new stone that combines fire and element, uh, the elements of fire and earth. It's healing energy, will light new paths, helping one discover new approaches to their heart's desires. There you get some, that deep kind of grayish blue. Clears energy blockages in all the chakras, enabling rebirth and transformation. There's so many colors in this. It is one of my absolute favorites. Like, look at this guy, right? So pretty. Get one with some more blue. Ugh. I do have some two large spheres of polychrome jasper, and I also have some kind of like longish, like um, uh, tumbled stones. They're, they're big though. All right. Next up, I have some peach moonstone pebble slash palms. There. Can you guys see the flash? This one is deep peach. So pretty. So peach moonstone helps one connect with divine feminine energies and promotes fertility and self-love. It is recommended to be worn by anyone who is experiencing major life changes, acts as a wonderful emotional support for intuitive and sensitive children. So this would be a great one if you have a little empath on your hands at home. <laughs> I should probably give this to my youngest son. He's definitely an empath. But look at how deep these colors are. They're so pretty. Love it. All right. This next one is super, super cool. I can't believe I haven't sold more of these just yet. And maybe this video is going to help you guys make that decision. So this is called Graphic. 
Amazonite. So what this is, is Amazonite with uh, smoky quartz inclusions. So that's what that kind of dark grayish black color like veins in there are. So you're going to get the properties of Amazonite and smoky quartz. So with Amazonite, it's a stone of truth, courage, communication, and empowers one to express their true thoughts and feelings without fear of judgment from others. It helps protect against negative energy, promotes peace, and relieves stress. And then you also have the grounding energy of the smoky quartz uh, inclusions in there. But how cool is this? It, there, it's such a beautiful color. Like, look how deep this one is. I love it so much. The uh, the wholesaler that I got it from their website says this is when Amazonite and smoky quartz have a baby. <laughs> And I just can't get over it. It's so pretty. Oh, I love these. A bunch of these guys I need to get for myself. Sorry, I keep shaking this camera. Um, love, love, love. Okay, so then I have some uh, Labradorite specimens. You guys know Labradorite's one of my very faves. So I've got these bigger hearts. This one has most of the flash on this side. All right, so Labradorite. It's a stone of self-transformation making it beneficial, whoops, let's get over here, making it beneficial uh, to work with during life transitions. Ooh, look at that. You can see that deep blue purple, oh. It is a powerful companion. There we go, you see all that. It's a powerful companion when performing magical or ritual work as it enhances psychic abilities and brings deep awareness of our spiritual knowledge. Sorry, I'm trying to read and make sure you guys are seeing the <laughs> seeing the crystals. Look at this guy. These are so flashy. Oh, I'm in love. Look at all that purpley blue. Oh. And these are very reasonably priced too. I can't remember the exact amount, but they're not expensive. So then I also have um, some baby hearts. And these are also extremely flashy. So wonderful. Some baby mini hearts for y'all. Ugh, can't get over it. Like, look. <laughs> So beautiful. And I do believe that these are $7.99 for these. I can't remember all the prices um, of all of these right off the top of my head, but so fun. You guys get the gist. Oh, here's one with more of a yellowy green. Oh, and there's some yellow and orange back there. So great and wonderful. Do you guys like the sound of that? Whoop! I lost one. <laughs> Man down. <laughs> Labradorite down. I love the sound of crystals. I need to be doing that more. <laughs> so now I have some Septarian. And these are so cool. When they come in spheres, they look like dragon eggs. But it's, it's, this is a bunch of minerals kind of um, come together. So this is a unique stone comprised of aragonite, calcite, and limestone. Greatly improves the balance of the mind, body, and spirit. One may experience an awakening when working, clo when working closely with this stone, driving a drastic and sudden change in forming new positive habits. So cool. I love how this forms. It looks so neat. It looks some, like something prehistoric, doesn't it? Oh. Like, look. Very cool. So these are kind of pebble palm stones, like smaller palm stones. 
And then I have some Kambaba Jasper, and I love Kambaba. I love all the crystals. I love all the crystals. <laughs> so this is Kambaba Jasper, and it comes in a little pebble. And this stone is a very grounding stone due to its deep connection with Mother Earth. It helps one remain in the present moment and remain calm. Sorry if you guys can't see that. Remain calm under stress. It's recommended that one meditates with the stone in nature to experience its full healing energies. But look at these orbicular like formations. So pretty. I love Jasper. There's so many cool varieties of Jasper that you just can't even go wrong getting you a Jasper. And guys, I think I said, yeah, I did say that I'm gonna do my first live sale coming up. I'm so excited. I'm getting um, a package tomorrow that um, that will have my, um, my new crystals that I'm gonna do for my live sale. I will not be showing you guys. It's going to be a surprise. But now we have some petrified wood. I had no idea how much I would love this. So these are, are pretty good palm stones. They're, they're pretty puffy, as you can see. Um, but oh my God, the color. So again, petrified wood. It promotes emotional healing linked to difficult relationships, especially those of ancestral origin. Gives one the ability to translate spiritual insights into real change in their physical life. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting out of frame here. Hopefully you guys can see how beautiful the colors are. It teaches one to remain patient and not be too hard on themselves or others. But lots of neat different colors. I have sold a decent amount of these already, so I only have four left. But OMG, they be gorgeous. Love. I really need to keep one for myself. I'm, I'm sure that I will at some point. <laughs> and last but not least, I got some carnelian pebbles. Now listen, y'all, what gorgeous orangey red is this business? Oh my gosh, sacral, sacral chakra all the way here, right? <laughs> so this is a high energy stone that restores vitality and increases motivation stimulates creativity and brings out undiscovered talents, gives one the self-confidence and willpower to achieve success in business and other pursuits. Yeah, this is one that I like to do when I'm trying to manifest or if I'm wanting to work on a creative project. But, oh my gosh, guys. So these are, these are um, smaller pebbles, but oh, so pretty. And you can see like the agate banding, oh. Uh, I do so love me some carnelian and these were just beautiful. Like I could not pass this up. They're so gorgeous. I do have carnelian in smaller sizes, but these are top, top quality. So that is it of my new crystals, guys, for my store. I just really wanted um, some more tumbleds and pebbles and palms because it seems that that's something that you guys really like. So if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, letting me know what you think of these crystals. What is your favorite? I don't know that I can pick one. Like I love all of these guys. They're so great. And um, if you guys are not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. And a link to my store will be down below. It is Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. And I appreciate you guys. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.